In chess, you build on your moves until eventually together, they lead to a win. Checkmate. Sometimes the moves are easy, sometimes they're not. Much like the moments in Tani Adewumi's life, at times seemingly impossible, but they've led him to here. The 10-year-old is a national chess master, the 28th youngest person to hold the title. Like every single day, I always play chess. If I don't play chess on that day, it's, that's not a normal day. But while in the two years he's been playing, the game has remained the same, where he plays it is very different. The family, refugees from Nigeria. In 2016, Boko Haram wanted Tani's father, Coyote, to help them spread anti-Christian propaganda. The devout Christian refused, so the Islamic terrorist group started threatening the family. Threats they've followed through with many times before. According to the charity Open Doors USA, more Christians are murdered for their faith in Nigeria than any other country. The persecution, the killing, the kidnapping is going on rapidly. The family fled for their lives, a difficult but necessary decision. It's not easy to leave your people behind. Making their way to the U.S. and eventually to New York City. When we got to America, we were more safe. That's where Tani was first exposed to chess at his public school. As his family was living in a homeless shelter, Tani worked very hard, practicing for hours a day. I had to put my heart into chess. The tenacity paid off and the world began to notice. He became a national sensation. There's even a book about his life. Even our family did not know that we were staying there. With the help of his fans and the game, the family now has a home of their own, a place where they can practice chess and their faith safe from persecution. And we are very grateful to God and the people, the whole world rallied around us. Tani's next goal is to become the youngest grandmaster ever. He's gotten till he's 12 years and seven months old. It's a tough task, but as Tani has proved, he's not afraid of hard work. In Port Jefferson Station, Long Island, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.